Welcome everybody, this is part two of the Songs and Rhymes project where we're learning how to use incremental development to program um, a particular rhyme or song of your choice. So I've went ahead and added my header information again. Notice that I've changed the file name to Happy Birthday version 2. You might want to take a second to add this information to your program. Also I'm programming in Notepad so that you can see the text better. Uh, when I'm finished I will copy it into the Python idle development environment and test it out. So last time we learned how to print happy birthday to the screen and also how to make the computer sing it to us or speak it. And in this time we're going to start using various computer concepts and constructs in order to reduce the, num the amount of code and to also add functionality to the computer. Alright, so in the previous version we had a print statement that printed out happy birthday to you and the other lines and now what we want to do is take any of the lines that repeated and um, change them so I'm gonna open up happy birthday one and I'm going to show you here that we have our main and we have speaking happy birthday to you again the same line repeats and then it's almost the same line but we say it to a person and then we say it the same line in one and two again in four so there's a lot of repetition here that we can use um, reduce using computer language so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this into my notepad so I don't have to retype it again and the first thing notice here is that I have two lines that are the same so I might want to create a function called happy so I'm going to type in def happy and then what I'm going to do is take out this line speak and move it up here to my function happy so now um, every time that we want to call the happy function it's going to sing happy birthday to us so down here in the main we'll replace that line with a call to happy and then we have the line repeated again so we'll just erase that and call happy again and then finally in the third in the third line it's a little bit different so we want to keep that for now we're going to learn in the next version how to replace it with a, uh, a variable that you so you can sing to different people but for now we'll just leave it and finally in the fourth line we'll call happy again because it's the same and then we'll need a call to the main in order to run the program so that's pretty much it so I'm going to go ahead and copy it into my IDE. So I'll go a new window and I'll move it over here so you all can see it and I'm going to paste it in and then I'm going to run it and it will ask me to save it. So I will navigate to my folder on the network drive that I created. Again a reminder you should always um, save each version of your project so that you can go back if something happens to the previous version and we're saving this inside um, podcasting examples so then we'll save it as happy birthday 2.py and you can see that it printed to the screen um, and it also was in my headset so that's pretty much it f for creating functions so what you need to do in your program is look for areas that repeat and see if you can um, make a function and then call those functions in the main to, to reduce the amount of code that you have um, it may not look like much was reduced now but uh, when the computer program gets more complicated and we add functionality to it um, we'll need to try to reduce the number of lines of code as possible. All right, well, that's it for this version. And next time in version 3, we're going to learn how to add a parameter. See you then.